Hey guys, Rebecca here. I haven't posted in a while. Today, I'm super excited. I'm getting ready for a workshop I'm going to teach out in Rockwall at Barbara DeBala's place. It's a three-day workshop. I'm teaching on Saturday. My good friend Katrina Dorn is teaching on Friday, and Barbara is teaching on Sunday. I think that's the lineup anyway. We're each taking one day and um, teaching a different technique. I am going to teach people how to work with epoxy sculpt. This, these are some very old jars here. The good fresh stuff is already out at Barbara's place. So anyway, with this stuff, and I'm super excited. I'm going to show you what I bought today. So I have a million things to do, right? I mean, a lot to do to get ready. So what do I do? I decide, well, I'm going to go to the thrift store and buy, buy some spoons because typically what you do with this two-part epoxy is you mix, uh, well, not typically, you have to mix part A with part B, and it... Um, forms this really uh, pliable um, clay-like product that you can use as your adhesive to put things into. And typically, we always have popsicle sticks on hand because we use them to mix uh, thin set. We use them to mix up grout. We always have these. So you dig into this with your popsicle stick, but this stuff is very dense. And so invariably, these break. So I decided I'm gonna go get some spoons at the thrift store. So. Very excited, look at these, yes. I got three of these. Actually, one is a little small, here's the other one. Um, 33 cents, you cannot beat that. And now I can dig into that with these and they won't break. So, excited about that. Okay, so the other thing I'm super excited about is I went to the grocery store to get snacks and things to have to share. And while I was there, I needed to pick up more of these little shot glasses. I had these on hand for some reason and I've been using them uh, as I make my samples. I'm gonna show you my samples in a minute um, to pour the little tiny seed beads into. I'm like, everybody needs to have at least two of these at their workstation to work with two different colors at a time on the seed beads. So I'm gonna go pick these up, right? Found something even better. You guys, this is the best. If you work with beads or anything really tiny, um, there's 50 of them in a package, so there will be plenty. And they are these little things. Pour their beads in there, and then at the end of the workshop, instead of having to take all the little shot glasses and pour everything back into my bigger containers, what they can do is just slap this lid on there, and I'll deal with it later. Is that not brilliant? I love that. So, anyway, sample time. Um, I still haven't mounted this guy. I think I showed him to you a while back, but I have made two other samples. Um, I made three samples uh, total, and one, I've only landed on what we're actually gonna do in class. So I'll show you one of the first samples I made, which is really cool, and we're not doing butterflies or moths. This is um, kind of based on a Luna moth, and it's very much an assemblage. It's all got the beading stuff, but no mosaic work. A lot of spray paint and collage work in the background. Uh, then I did this one. Uh, did this. Then I did this one, which is a little smaller. And I thought this was more reasonable. It's a smaller insect, because um, it's just a one day workshop that I've got these people. So I can't have them bite off more than they can chew, right? Um, so I did this, and it's a really cool assemblage. I really like this bee a lot. Um, anyway, but then I scaled it down one more time, and I think I really finally nailed it. I have these 5x5 five five boxes. This is just the coolest little bee. I love him. I really love him. Small is okay. I have these 5x5 five five cradle boards. Um, and I have some five by seven cradle boards. And so people can either choose the rectangle or the small square. And we'll mount, you can see he's kind of mounted. We'll mount these guys and we'll use collage work and spray paint and bling up the boxes at the end of the workshop. And so I'll pull this in. You can see a little bit more of the, the bead work and the stuff jutting out of the sides. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And so, yeah, like I don't have enough to do packing and getting ready for this. Um, I go and have a little side trip to the thrift store and I'm making a movie. So 